spaghetti. One large onion. Chop it up. Half of these will go to the sauce. Half of it will go to the uh, meatball itself. Cut it up. This is the second half. First half is ready for the meatballs. Next, chop up the red Fresno peppers. There you go. Bag the other half right there. So chop it up. One third will need to go to the uh, sauce. And that's perfect. And the rest goes to the meatballs. Next, chop up some parsley's for the meatballs. All the hard stems taken out, it's time to chop it up. That smells great. Grab a, a bunch of uh, basil as well, fresh. Take off the hard stems again, chop it up. This will uh, go to the uh, mix for the meatballs. And also, I'm gonna chop up a few more as a uh, topper when the uh, spaghetti meatballs done. Here we go, chopped up basils. Look at that. Mix it up. Salt and pepper to taste. It's not done yet. I gotta add bread to that. Toast a, a few uh, sourdough bread. You don't want it too hard, just warm it up. Chop up some garlic. Put it to the mix as well. There you go. Add it to your mix. Add one egg. Shred it. But before you shred it, one handed here, olive oil. This is gonna go to your uh, meatball mix. I shredded some uh, bread with uh, olive oil, just a bit size, right? It's time to add it onto your mix. Mix it up. With that. The reason why I'm pre-mixing this because you don't wanna overwork the meat, the ground beef. And uh, by the way, it's the same thing for your uh, uh, hamburgers. A lot of people like overworking their um, meat, but this is perfect. It's good. It's time to add this one pound of ground beef. You don't want it lean unless you really want to, but you do want some uh, fat in it. And uh, you know, believe it or not, the fatter the food, the tastier it is so I'm gonna do the best I can one-handed but you don't want to overwork the meat so don't smash it and put a lot of pressure on it but mix it up with your mix let's break it the mix is actually about 60% the meat is only 40% uh, I like them like that Again, don't overwork the meat. I think this is it, really. But I'm gonna need both hands to create the meatballs. Hang tight. Take a look at that. That's beautiful. Again, when you're uh, making the meatballs, make sure that you have uh, really light hands. You don't wanna smash them. You don't wanna compress them. You almost like just really, really light-handed. All right. It's time to fry this bad boys. Mm. It looks delicious already. Warm up a pan, olive oil. Cover the bottom. There you go. Slow fry it. Temperature medium. Maybe even, uh, well in this case we got a four. And I usually cover it up to make sure it gets cooked in the inside. Slow cook it. Now it's time to work on the uh, sauce. More olive oil. It's good enough. Might as well. It's the end of it. Low heat. Garlic. Just brown it a tad bit. Low heat again. Next. The red peppers. 
saute it a little bit just a little bit you don't want your onions translucent it's just going to cook some more add your sauce tomato paste and tomato sauce i just dumped the tomato sauce in the uh, pot and i'm going to use the same can to get some water dump that as well so you got one can of tomato sauce and one can of water tomato paste scoop it out dump okay. it in it's all mixed up in there let it simmer salt and pepper to taste cover it up again let it simmer let's check on the meatballs flip it I bet the other side's already brown there you go that's beautiful That looks so good and smells so good. Cover it up. Okay, it's bubbling. Low heat again. All right, there's two ways to serve the meatballs, right? One, after you get it all browned up, um, you could either toss it inside the sauce or just serve it like the way it is with the spaghetti and then top it with the sauce. One way or another, uh, it's really good. Okay, this is good to go. Let's check it out. Yep, that's it. It's perfect. Here we go. Take a look at that. Now I'm preparing my uh, spaghetti boiling water. Uh, add a little bit of salt, add a little bit of uh, olive oil. Once it gets boiling, cook your spaghetti to your liking. We like ours al dente. I like uh, olive oil with roasted garlic. Look at that. This is done, but finishing touches. Basil. Look at that, it's still steaming. Mm. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to click subscribe, click that notification bell. Um, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. But that's it, that's how I make my uh, spaghetti meatballs. So, beautiful. Thanks again for watching. Later. Bye for now.